Hey, hey, queens and kings, welcome back, and thank you guys so much for watching. So today I will be doing two different modern DIYs. My little gorgeous table here that you all see that I was inspired by pieces in my home and this beautiful artwork that I was also inspired by Pinterest. So if you guys would like to see how I created both, why don't you all continue to watch? All right, queens and kings so the materials that i will be using in this video for this first diy here is this round wood that i got from lowe's a while back i use it as a tray for my laundry room and then i'm going to be using this round 18 inch acrylic mirror that i got from amazon i want to say i paid about 38 dollars for this mirror here i couldn't find nothing cheaper um nothing in my price range then i'm also going to be using these mirror tiles that i got from the glam goddess diys that she sent me and i promised her i was going to use it so hey sir i am using them and i'm also going to be using these wood plaques that i got from lowe's as well i just advise you all to get eight in all if you want stronger legs okay because that's what they're going to be used for and some glue sticks as well as glue guns different glue guns and this box cutter now what i am not showing you guys uh but i will insert a picture is this mirror glue in the pump i got that from lowe's too as well excuse me y'all my, my voice was cracking up but um anyways i got this um mirror glue from lowe's too as well i think this was probably about 25 dollars or so but i always had the pump and stuff for a while but anyways i couldn't use hot glue so i had to use this mirror glue for to attach this mirror to this board so basically that's all i did you guys seen it and i just placed the wood on top of the center as best as possible you see there's a hangover that's because i got a wider mirror as in 18 inches so therefore i could be able to secure these to the side too so it could look kind of seamless like my dining room table and my you know my trade and stuff things that i was inspired by but a great thing about these mirror tiles here is that they actually self-adhesive but i'm also going to use hot glue for on the lippy part that's hanging over from with the mirror so it can sit on there and i don't have to worry about these falling off just in case if this adhesive on the back of these mirror is not as strong as it feels so i'm gonna continue doing that all the way around the entire mirror Okay, so I'm making it towards the end here, and it's actually have an overlap. So I'm using my box cutter to cut it off, and as you all can see, that space for the square is not as wide or even enough for me to put a square there flat as possible. So I'm just going to overlap, but I forgot that it actually had to protect the film on, so I have to remove that. Now, if I could find these um, mirror tiles down in... If I can find the mirror tiles on Amazon, I will actually put the link down below so you guys can actually purchase them for yourself too as well. But I'm just using some hot glue to place that on there along with the adhesive. And this is pretty much how it's looking right now. And I'm liking it. You can use this as a tray, child. This could be a long, big tray if you have a big, wide ottoman. So now we don't flip it over. Here's my legs here. So I'm going to use this paint that I got from Amazon walmart this silver platinum paint because i didn't have no spray paint that's what my intention was i had some spray paint but it was gray and i was like no i don't want to put gray on there because it's just gonna give it a 
vibe that I don't want to give. I really want to like a silver platinum look. So basically, I'm just going to hand paint all these. And I'm going to do the rest of them off camera. But I'm just basically showing you guys what I'm doing. So I had to put several coats on here. I found me something to watch on TV, honey. And I went to work and voila, magic. This is how they look. So this is the look, the vibes that I was going for. But majority of some of it is going to actually be covered up in mirrors too. So you'll see the guys that later in the video. So I'm using my drill in these... Um, L shapes. Um, I'm not sure what they called. I just know they L shape, and I'm basically gonna use these to actually stand up the legs. So they have screws that come with it, and I'm gonna use one on each side and and screw it in. Pretty much, it's pretty much self-explanatory. But I'm also using hot glue to help hold them up in place while I'm actually trying to do this because I was doing this by myself, and it became a little difficult trying to hold those legs up. Now, the only thing I do regret is not buying eight of these wood plaques or whatever you want to call them boards because like i said in the beginning i wanted stronger legs these wasn't as strong as i wanted but i didn't go back to lowe's to get it because i was done and over with this project because i wanted to get it on out but i do advise you guys to get stronger legs okay that's the only thing but other than that i love the way how this project turned out so i'm gonna continue doing this for all four but the other ones off camera Okay, so this is pretty much how it look, child. I caught hell with the first one, but all of them did not turn out like that. So these are L brackets. I think that's what they call But this is how the table look. But like I said, I wish I'd have just got eight of them and also I could have glued the two legs together to make it stronger. But anyways, now we're moving on with the mirror tiles once again. And I'm basically going to use that on the outside of the legs other than on the inside. I thought about putting them on the inside, but it was like, what's the purpose? No, I like these tiles here and I have other projects in mind to use for them. So I'm just going to place these on the outside of the legs. And like I said, the mirrors are self-adhesive. So that did help me out a whole lot. All right, Queens and Kings, so here it is. And don't forget to take off the um, protective film. As you all see, I'm doing it for the top of the table here. And look at that. It looks like real mirror, doesn't it? But it is a faux acrylic mirror. I don't know how to do it, but baby, it's magic in my eyes. But this is how she looked before I get ready to style her and everything. And I just love the way this table turned out. I have it here placed in my living room as like a little side table for where I actually lay my head from time to time. So if you guys don't know, um, you want to go check out my home decor channel. You'll actually know a lot about me and how I style my home and everything if you want to see that. But anyways, queens and kings, this is my beautiful table. I love the way that it turned out. It is so beautiful. I did use some of those mirror tiles to cover up the air breakers that's up under. But baby, I love this table. Shout out to the Glam Goddess DIY once again for sending me the mirror tiles, tiles because they actually came along, made this project perfect. Perfect. I wasn't sure what I was going to do in the beginning when you sent them to me, but honey, an idea came at work and I knew I was going to use it. But I love the way that my side table look and how it turned out. But only regrets that I do regret is actually not putting eight legs or well, putting the legs stronger. But anyways, I love it. What do you queens and kings think about it? All right, queens and kings. So today we're going to try some type of artwork, maybe abstract or not i think I, I pronounced that right but i have this white canvas that i done painted several times trying to figure out a look that i want 
this is going to be the third time. For the first time, I tried to do a pour method. Then I tried this other, like, scrape method. Okay, now we're going to try using these little things here that I got from Dollar Tree. And this paint here that I got from Walmart. I think I got this one from Michaels or something like that. But that's from the Dollar Tree. And these here is from Walmart. So I got some gray here. Got this white. This is a dark chocolate brown, which I'm very scared of. Um, this is cream, like mocha or something. And like I said, gold. And then this here, white. So... I'm going to use these tools to hopefully something turns out right. So I'm going to start from one corner, then work my way on down. Okay? That's how we're about to do this. The first I'm going to start with is this intimidated color here. All right, Queens and Keys. So, like I said, this intimidated color, even though I have brown in my home, though, but it was very intimidated putting on this canvas because, you know, it's paint. You can't undo it unless you're just going to repaint over. I've seen an artwork, something like this, on Pinterest. And it was using all this crazy stuff that got me said, okay, you know what? I can do that. Let's see. But I think they use a thicker paint. I'll show y'all what I'm going to try to mimic. Yeah, spray paint and everything. Ooh, I'm scared. Watch it again. So that's what we're going for. All right, so at this point here, I decided not to do the little spray paint um portion part of it. I was like, no, because I don't want the fumes in my house, but I could take it outside, though. But honestly, like I said in the beginning, I have repainted this canvas over and over, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. It just, everything just was not turning out right, but I really wanted to do the pour method. I may try that in a later video, even if I decide to keep this image, because now it's starting to grow on me in my home. But I really want to do the pour method. So I'm going to have to sit back and watch some more YouTube videos so I can actually get that down. Because I have these colors. I really want to use them in a pour method. But anyways, I decided to go with this um, modern looking art. But I decided not to go with the spray paint. So I really hope you guys enjoy these videos. These ideas, these modern arts that I pretty much have brought to you all. Because these are things that I do in my home on my other channel. Which is queen Val living yes that was a shameless plug but baby check me out over there because i do give out a lot of different types of home decor style and inspiration ways that you could decorate your house living in a small bedroom because i do live in a small apartment which is just a two bedroom and me and my two kids so to the point that i don't gave up my space to give it to them the sacrifice that i made for my babies but if you want to check out stuff like that um my daily life and living and things that me and the kids are doing check it out over there on queen Val living okay not too bad not too bad because it's pretty much going to be the long way like this and i can see a vision now not too bad i may do the little spray paint method I'm not sure. I don't think I am, though, because I have some gold leaf that I want to put on here. So I think I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the paint in different areas, like make small sections now and do some gold leaf on it. We're going to see. Or maybe silver, since I have that gold going on there. And I think that's what I'm going to do, silver. All right, Queens and Kings. So these silver leaf flakes came from timu um this was kind of hard for me to use so what i will do in the video is basically use it all in the areas that have not dried out as you all see in here so i would take some off and i just place it on a patch it on there but it did not turn out how i wanted it to turn out but actually like i said the the project is starting to grow me because honestly after this point when i did it i was like okay i'm gonna just take this off and repaint this all over white and give me a, a base a clear base all over again so i could do the pour method but eventually i just kept it and 
lately it actually have been growing on me though but I still think about the poor method because it's something about it that actually mimics my rug and that's what pretty much why I want to do it but I like these colors because it is in my home all right queens and keys so this is how she look I have it in my entryway area and style up under this canvas like and it just give a whole totally vibe so i'm telling you you want some inspiration head over there to queen Val living because honey i give out all types of inspiration affordable inspiration and style but this is how i look with the lights turned on so i hope you queens and kings enjoyed these modern diys if you all did please like comment share and subscribe and i'll talk to you all in the next one Bye bye